Hi angels and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're obviously here because you want to have a Victoria's Secret bombshell level glow up by the end of the year. The clock is on. We only have a few months left, but it's still plenty of time before 2024 ends. So you can go into 2025 feeling like a Victoria's Secret supermodel. I have written out an entire six step guide that is going to truly transform you and transform your life. I have my hair rollers in and I thought I would just get ready and do a little bit of makeup while I talk to you guys. So phase one of the glow up is the admin side of things. This is where you do all of the planning and sort through everything that you need to do to become the bombshell of your dreams. Step one is to go through all of your wardrobe and sort through everything, chuck out the items that you no longer need. I feel like we hold on to so many things. So the best thing to do is a big spring clean out, no matter what season you're in, a huge wardrobe cull so that you can kind of start your wardrobe from scratch. I don't mean buying all new things. I just mean seeing things with a fresh, clean vision, having your staple pieces easily accessible because it's not cluttered with all this random stuff that you never wear. The next step is to do an audit of yourself, just like how businesses do audits of the company where they have someone come in and examine everything that is working, that isn't working, what needs to be improved on. You should do that exact process, but with yourself physically. What do you like about yourself? What do you do well? Maybe you are really good at doing your makeup, but you have no idea how to do your hair, that kind of thing. Figure out what works, what doesn't. So then you know exactly what you need to improve on. And if you love the way you do your makeup or whatever, you can completely disregard all of the advice and tips about makeup because that's working well for you. It's honestly just about what you need to improve on and what you need to experiment with with yourself. The third step in the admin process is to go through and make all of the appointments that you're going to need to make. If you're having a serious glow up where you need to go and get your hair done or you need to book a teeth whitening appointment, a spa appointment, book in for a Pilates class, whatever it is that you decide that you need to do, make all of your appointments so they're scheduled in and you can't look back. And the last step of the admin phase is to create a diet and exercise plan. I worked with an online coach. I'll have her linked below if you want to use her. But she helped me to create the perfect diet and exercise plan for my body and my goals. The most important thing though when it comes to health and fitness is to have some sort of plan in place and have some sort of schedule so you're not really just going in blind. Okay, phase two is body and exercise. So you have all of your admin done, you have your plan laid out, written down, you know what you have to do. I think that the best place to start is with getting yourself into shape and start working on your dream body. If you're starting from the very beginning, honestly, you'll be surprised at how quickly your body starts to get fit. Walk every single day. Walking is so important. Walking kind of offsets a lot of things that you eat and I promise you nothing will get you in shape quicker than walking. It's almost more important than strength exercise is going to the gym for a rule of thumb go on to your health settings on your iphone and look at how many steps you do every day and just add 5,000 to that as like a goal of what you want to hit every day tip number two is to drink at least two liters of water every single day i mean everyone tells you drinking water is so important and everyone says that for a reason it's going to help you to feel fuller so you're not going to like binge eat as much as you usually would as well as that it just has so many amazing benefits for your skin for your overall in a health like it's going to make you glow tip number three i already touched on this but try and work out three times a week you could do more if you feel capable of doing more i like to do one upper body one lower body and one full body every week and i work out for half an hour with a five minute ab workout at the end every single time tip number four of the diet and exercise phase is to track your diet you could use a physical food journal if you don't want to think about calories and stuff like that that can be a less triggering way to keep track of everything you're putting in your body um, or obviously you can use an app like my fitness pal that makes it a little bit easier to see the nutritional value of everything that you're eating and the last tip is to start drinking green tea my favorite thing about it is it really suppresses my appetite so if i'm having really bad cravings or like just feel like snacking for the sake of snacking it will suppress my appetite and it kind of makes that feeling go away i drink a lot of green tea every single day but it's also great for boosting your metabolism keeping you to feel fuller. It's fantastic for your skin and your hair. It has so many benefits. 
So if you're not already, make sure you're introducing green tea into your diet as well as obviously like fruits, vegetables, fish, meat, whatever it is that you're having, lots of healthy whole foods. Phase three is hair. So you're on track with your diet and exercise plan. I think that the next most important thing to do is to work on having beautiful hair. My first tip is to start using hair masks and hair gloss. All your favorite influencers and celebrities with beautiful hair, they're using hair masks instead of conditioner. My favorite is the K18 hair mask and I literally just like shampoo in the shower when I use it and then come out of the shower and apply a generous amount of K18 all over my hair and blow dry it. I do this maybe like every three washes and it has completely changed my hair. And then also use a hair gloss. Hair gloss is going to give your hair that beautiful, shiny, silky kind of look to it that all the Victoria's Secret angels have. You can either get this done at the hair salon or you can buy hair glosses and do it yourself at home. I really love the Type B one and I love the Way one. The next tip is to cut off all of your dead ends. Don't be worried about losing all the length in your hair because I promise it's going to make you look so much more polished. You can also ask to get a little bit of shape cut into your hair. I like to ask for some 90s long layers and face framing bangs. Have a look at your own face shape. Do you have a bigger forehead? Maybe you might consider a front fringe or some bangs, something like that. But you definitely want to get some shape cut into your hair. It's so important. Tip number three is to start using the hair oil dry shampoo combo every night before you go to bed in between hair wash days. Start applying dry shampoo to your roots and apply hair oil to the end. This is going to mean that you wake up with the most beautiful, silky smooth hair that looks like freshly washed. The dry shampoo actually works so much better overnight. Tip number four, once you've figured out what hairstyle best suits your hair, whether that is straightening, blow drying, hair rollers, curling, or a mixture of all of them, figure out how to do it properly. Learn how to do the proper technique. I feel like so many times we kind of just go in blind and do what feels right and we don't take the time to actually learn how to use it for your hair type. If you have fine hair, look up hair roller tutorial for fine hair, hair roller tutorial for thick frizzy hair. Learning how to do these things properly for your personal hair type is going to make a world of difference. I promise you because all the girls on TikTok who do the quick routines probably have completely different hair types to you and that's why it's not looking the way that it's supposed to on you. And then the last tip, create a list of those hairstyles. You want to have a repertoire, maybe like three or four hairstyles that you know how to do perfectly and you know that they look good on you. Have a list, a repertoire of different hairstyles to switch between with different looks. Phase four is fashion. Tip one is to invest in some really good basics. So maybe when you did that wardrobe clean out, you sold a few of your pieces on Depop or Poshmark and you have a little bit of extra money to invest. You need good basics. And what I mean by that is good blue jeans, good jean skirt, a perfect crisp white t-shirt, an oversized t-shirt, a baby t-shirt. You need things to work with. Almost every outfit that I create includes some sort of basic in it and I just rotate between a selection of basics. Some of them I've had for years, but things like t-shirts, I tend to like restock those kind of things once a year so that they stay looking really fresh and crisp. It's just so important because you're going to wear them more than anything else. So I think it's more important to have basics like that than it is to have fun like styling pieces. Tip number two is to design a color palette. Go onto Pinterest, figure out the colors that you like, that you want to incorporate into your wardrobe and that you know will look good on you. If you don't know what colors look good on you, ask the people around you. You don't want to go out buying like a bright orange when you know you don't have any complementary colors to style with that. It doesn't fit into your color palette or your scheme. So then you're just going to be lost with this one garment. If you stick to a core color palette, all the time when you're shopping, when you're choosing an outfit, you're going to look really stylish. Like my color palette is pastels. It's pretty rare for me to wear dark and heavy colors. I will occasionally as like a statement, but I mostly stick to pastels. You can look at my Instagram. All my outfits are light pastel sort of colors. The next tip is to steam and press your garments. I know your mom's probably told you this for years. Every outfit is going to look so much better if it doesn't have creases in it. It's been steamed and pressed. It's so easy. It takes five minutes and it's going to completely elevate your look. The next step is to look up celebrities who have a similar body shape to you and have a look at what they're wearing. They probably have stylists who are putting them in the absolute best outfits for their body shape. So make use of the money that they're paying these stylists and use the advice for yourself. 
And the last step of the fashion phase is to invest in accessories. I think a lot of people think the best thing to do is to buy really expensive dresses and skirts and you're going to look amazing. More often than not, it's way more important to invest in good quality accessories. You could have the most basic outfit in the world, but if you have really cute accessories, you're going to look so stylish. Now it's time to level up your beauty and body care routine. These are the beauty tips to help with your bombshell glow up. Tip number one, and this one's kind of obvious, but it's hair removal. Remove any unwanted hair. Obviously, the angels are pretty hairless. Figure out a good hair removal method for you. Some people prefer waxing, epilators, shaving, but just have a good hair removal routine that you stick to. But again, this is only if you choose to. You can still be a beautiful bombshell if you choose not to. Tip number two is teeth whitening. I think teeth whitening is such an easy way to have a glow up. You could book in to see a professional, but I personally think the Oral-B teeth whitening strips work just as well. Tip number three is to exfoliate at least once per week. I do this before my fake tanning night to remove all of the old fake tan, but even if you don't use soft tanners, it's still so important to keep your skin looking really soft and hydrated. And then on nights out, or even like a nice day out, use some sort of body shimmer. The Refi Body Glow is amazing. It will literally give you supermodel Victoria's Secret skin. All the Victoria's Secret angels had super glowy, hydrated looking skin. And the secret to that is using oil. So never forget to use oil. Every time you get out of the shower, apply body oil. On days where you're exfoliating, use oil and lotion together. And on nights out, use a body shimmer. The next tip is to fake tan, obviously only if you require that. A fake tan can just give you that beautiful glow. My favorite ever fake tan is Bondi Sands Liquid Gold. It's perfect. Tip number five is obviously to get your nails and toes done regularly and keep your nails natural. You don't want to do big long claws. If you're going for a bombshell glow up, shorter, round or almond and pale pink, a white, a nude, French tip, something just like classy, elegant, that's not going to draw too much attention. And the last step in the beauty and body care phase is to smell beautiful. The best way to do this, obviously invest in really good deodorants, a 48 hour deodorant. Sometimes I think the roll-ons actually work better than the spray deodorants. Use mouthwash so you don't have any bad breath. And you wanna use a signature scent. Having a signature scent is so important and where better to shop for a signature scent if you wanna be like a bombshell than Victoria's Secret. My favorite Victoria's Secret scent ever is Coconut Passion and I wear the body spray of that one religiously i have it on right now the one with the shimmer last step of the entire process is makeup and skincare see a facialist or a dermatologist if you have serious skin issues the best thing to do is definitely to see a dermatologist who's going to tell you exactly what you need to do to, to get your skin to be where you want it to be if your concerns aren't as serious then i would maybe say just see a facialist who can help you for certain treatments that they're going to target your specific skin concerns. Once you've spoken to a professional who's going to tell you exactly what your issues are, you want to invest in skincare for those issues. For me personally, it was a matter of using vitamin C and that completely changed my skin because my biggest issue was an uneven skin tone and I didn't even know what that was. Next tip is to look up a makeup tutorial for your specific face shape. I have a wider and more round face shape so I needed to look up contour tutorials for that specifically. My placement is completely different to what someone with a long face or someone with prominent chin or something like that is going to be doing. And this also goes for your eye shape and of course how to contour your nose for your nose shape. Do you want to invest in good basic products? Just like you have wardrobe basics, you need good makeup basics, good foundation, a good brow gel, a good blush, a good bronzer. And of course you can have investment fun like accessory makeup pieces. But your staple makeup bag should have the good basics in it that you absolutely love. And my very last tip is to get your brows and your lashes done. Having good brows makes the world of difference. I always get mine done at the Benefit Brow Bar. They're amazing. If you don't have very full or long lashes, you could consider getting lash extensions, very natural ones, or a lash lift, a lash tint. 
getting treatments like that do make a world of difference and will definitely help you have that kind of like Victoria's Secret Angel glow up. I really hope that helped. I hope you guys can use this advice to have a beautiful bombshell glow up by the end of the year. I believe in you and hopefully this was the motivation that you needed if that's what you want. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a lot of similar content and I'm currently in the middle of having a bit of a channel glow up, if you will. I'm slightly rebranding to make a lot more of my content like this and post a lot more frequently. That is my finished makeup and hair look as well. I hope you have a gorgeous, glamorous week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!